get the traveler's checks. Oh, no, I didn't have time. We can do it when we get there. Let's get going, Zach. It's for crabs. He said there'd be blue crabs in the woods. Oh, yeah, right. Go. Bye. It's not fair leaving now. Christy's having a party Saturday. Christy's having a party. Darn, I wanted to go too. They're signed and sealed. Good. All right, tell Fielder I appreciate what he's done. Um, I'll be in touch with you from the cottage. Fashion's career account? It's ours. TV spots, billboards, it works. In that case, you're happy, right? Right. Zach, so, uh, have you ever considered reading, you know, like a book, maybe? Sure, Dad. Give me two bucks and I'll buy a comic. You're so happy. You can't wait for a summer on the water. Right. Wrong, 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 wrong. What is it? Leaving your job? Hey, I'm entrusting my boutique to Sue Ann the Flappable. Why can't you leave your ad agency to both vice presidents? I can, but who wants to leave work for more work? I'm telling you, it's not the Ritz. It's just an old, run-down cottage. cottage right? We should just sell it. I don't get you. If my aunt died and left me a cottage on a beautiful bay, I'd figure I'd hit the lotto. I don't remember it fondly, OK? It's a place for my parents to go and fight. Well, that was then. What could be so bad? It's got a roof, it's got walls. It has cracks, it has mildew. We have a handyman lined up, a housekeeper. We have paradise for the whole summer. You know, you're right. We'll spend the summer together, fix the old place up, reclaim paradise. Then sell it. Stay here. I'm going to... Oh, God, lock your door! Lock it! Get out of the car! What's going on? What do you want? Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! Move! Get out of the car! No! Get out of the car! Shut up! Shut up and get down there! Shut up and get down on your knees! No, don't hurt her! Shut up! Get out! Come over here! Put your hands back here! What do they want? I don't know. You, what's your name? Lucas. So, Lucas, who's this prime piece of candy? Huh? I asked you a question. That's my what? Want to share a little of that taste? Huh? No. Oh. <gasps> Wrong answer, Lucas. Oh! oh. 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 First, mommy. And after you, the princess. No way in hell. Get out! No!
road. This ain't your party. Trouble? You got a death wish, mister? No. Just this Browning 12-gauge pump-action shotgun. Nice weapon. Everything but the hair trigger. Let's get out of here. All right, take it easy. It's okay. My husband's hurt! You are right, Dad? Go! Go! Man, I don't want to take the chance of causing any more injury. So I'm going to go and get some help, okay? Where's the gun? Huh? Oh, didn't have one. friend of Lucas's? Old? He called me old, huh? Well, I'm gonna have to kick his butt. No, I mean, he, he said he called an old friend in Kelsey Point to arrange for a house. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna really kick his butt. At least not while he's in the hospital. Oh, my goodness. Is he okay? They're, they're waiting on some tests. His ankle is hurt. He'll be walking with a cane for a while. Mm. Other than that, we were lucky. How did you know? Oh, well... <laughs> Kelsey points are like a big covered dish. News travels fast. Are these your kids? Yes, this is a, this is Zach. Zach? Hey, Zach. I'm Winnie. And this is Haley. Hey, Haley. And I'm Kat. I'm sorry. I just... <sighs> well, listen, you know, why don't I take them to the cottage? You come when you can. And then after you guys sleep, I have, like, the perfect home remedy. Waffles with whipped cream. What do you say? <sighs> that sounds <laughs> ideal. Come on. Yeah, and I'll be right behind. Bye. OK. Well, we'll see you. Uh, oh, uh, look, why don't you, uh, here, use this sort of, pick yourself oh, up. Oh, and... yes. Okay. <laughs> so, we're off to the cottage. Now, where do you see it? Water, sun, mosquitoes, the whole bargain pack. You guys ever been here before? No. You give me a break. I don't have but five deputies to cover the whole county, Lucas. We do the best we can. In other words, nothing's changed. You're damn right. It's the same number we had 20 years ago when we kept picking you up for underage drinking on the pier. Yeah, except then you were junior Gestapo. Now they made you sheriff. You haven't changed much either, bud. The same summer visitor looking down your sunburned nose at the locals. I'm not looking down, Coop, but I think you could at least get our license plate number right on your report. We got that from your wife, Lucas. I'm sorry, but I came as close as I could remember. These men had no guns, is that correct? <sighs> I... I didn't see any. Oh, but they had knives. They held a knife to his throat. What kind? Jackknife, pocket knife, what kind? An eight-inch hunting blade, Sheriff. There was nothing I could do. Right. Well, it's a good thing that kid came along when he did. Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to thank him. Yeah. I got a man going over now to search the area. Your assailants might have left something that'll identify him. It wasn't possible to send somebody earlier? No, it wasn't. I'll be in touch. Do you think I overreacted? Could we at least give him a chance? I'm sorry, kid. It's just... I can't remember. Zach's eyes. God, I should have... 
done. Something. Don't be ridiculous. They say we can go. But I won't show you the bill until you're fully recovered. I've got a rental car outside. I swear you haven't changed at all. Liar. <laughs> Thanks for taking the kids last night. Hey, no big deal. I mean, I was going to be here anyway, so. Oh, yeah. I told you I'd get you a housekeeper. OK, the truth is, I could really use the money. I mean, unless, of course, you don't want me to, then hey. Of course I do. Anyway, haven't I always taken care of you? OK, it's settled. <laughs> you big gimp. You've done real good, Lucas. Nice wife, nice kids. Hey, you want to know something? I was all prepared to hate that lady. <laughs> Disappointed? No, I could still hate her. I just have to work at it. This is the rundown shack you talked about? Well, there's a leak in the roof. The uh, furnace is shot to hell. Clothes dryer's out of commission. <laughs> I trust there's nothing wrong with the bay. <laughs> Not a thing. Oh, and I got you guys some supplies, like some food and soda and stuff. You're probably going to want to make a stop at Newman's. Newman's? Newman's, the clothes store on Summit Street. Unless, of course, you're planning to wear what you have on all summer, in which case, I quit. <laughs> It's me, huh. with Mom and Dad and Aunt Sarah. Mom wasn't much for the water, but Dad loved it here. So will we. Have fun. Talk about 
about last night. Like, like what? Like how you feel about it. I had sort of a real bad dream last night. They came back and they tied me up again. Zach, they won't be coming back. A couple of slugs. Too bad you couldn't <clears throat> off them. What? You know, I wish you could have killed them. Zach, it, it, it's not like Schwarzenegger coming down in a helicopter and knocking off the bad guys, you know? Things in real life hit you when you're unprepared. And killing, that's not the answer. But you would have stopped him if you could, right? Yes. That's what I thought. I'm gonna go down and make the boat. What's the matter with you, Lucas? Yeah. Huh? Uh, you chicken? Charge it. I can't remember ever hearing about a carjacking around here before. Our luck, huh? Well, it's a good thing you've got Winnie Rawson out there. Now, she is a fine woman. She used to really light my fire. But she had this thing for Lucas. Well, I guess he told you all about that. As a matter of fact, you never mentioned it. Well, uh, wild goats don't count no more, right? Good thing your father likes khaki. <sighs> Mom, look. Look! What is it? It's him, the guy who saved us. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. How was your husband? Well, he's going to be fine, thanks to you. Oh, I didn't do much. <laughs> Seriously? You could have been killed. Not a chance. Uh, where are you staying? At the Buckley Campgrounds. It's just north of the pier. Till I push on. Well, listen, if you have any time, um, Mr. Simon. Just Simon. Uh, time for what? Well, I think my husband would really like a chance to thank you for all you did. You could follow us back to the house. Well, uh... Please? <laughs> she makes it hard to refuse. I asked the hospital to send their bill to accounting. I'm using a cane. I guess Michelle should claim that, too. I'm really sorry to hear this, Lucas. I tell you, man, nobody is safe anymore. Listen, Dick, I'd rather you didn't broadcast it around the office. We're okay. That's all it counts. Yeah, yeah, sure. I will say this, though. The next time Grace gripes about the gun I keep, she'll think twice. You keep a gun? I hate it, but you gotta be ready. Lucas? After supper, let's go to the woods and I'll show you how to shoot. Does Mama know? She will when I tell her. That's uh, some shiner you got there. Next time you give Paul a black eye.
Hey, what a nice surprise. Come on up. It's a beautiful view. We'll make you some lemonade. I guess I got into town about a week or so ago. I've been bouncing around mostly from state to state. My uncle brought me up after my mom died. I was nine. Where was this? Uh, Virginia. Nowadays, I just take a job here or there. Mostly where I can hunt or fish. Yeah, fishing's my main love. Well, you put yourself on the line for us. I'd like to do something for you. A reward. Oh, money? No, no, no. I don't want anything, really. If you're sure. Yeah. Is that a down easter? What's that, about 29 feet? It's a beauty. Uh, yeah, the boat belonged to my aunt. Hmm, she run? Just had the engine overhauled. Wow, it's stern is ideal for trolling. You ought to try it. Look, thanks for your hospitality. I guess I gotta get going, though. Dad? Do you think maybe Simon could take it out? Our boat to fish? Oh, no, that's asking too much. But you'd like to, wouldn't you? Well, yes. Could he? Yes, of course. Then it's settled. You'll come back tomorrow. If your father says so. You bet. Absolutely. Great. See you then. <laughs> so you've been hiding your deep, dark past from me. What? This morning, I heard you and Winnie are old flames. Where did you hear that? Guy behind the counter at Newman's. Oh, gossip. Legal tender of Kelsey Point. Well? Well, what? Is it true? Uh, I think she wanted something between us, yeah, but not me. We were just friends, honest. Unless you count that. Roman slave game we used to play in the attic. <laughs> it's good to hear you joking again. You seemed cool today with Simon. I only brought him by because of all he did for us. Yeah, I know what he did for us. Lucas, you were hurt at risk. There was nothing you could do. You don't have to be defensive. I'm about not this. defensive. Okay, okay, good. Neither am I. I love everyone, especially you. Where did that come from? My aunt kept it for protection. She lived alone. Well, it's not the type of thing I'd like lying around for the kids to find. I mean, what do we need it for? It's an odd question after what happened. <laughs> Put it away. Where are the kids? Haley's trying on her new swimsuit, and Zach went to the woods. The woods? Yeah, he wanted to look for crabs. Cat, that's not smart. I asked him to wait until. Oh, the house! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Hope I'm not too early. No, not at all. Ah, oh, good. Hi. Hey. Daddy, can I go fishing with Simon? You told me once you hated fishing. Look, it makes no difference to me. I'll leave it up to you, Mr. Marshall. I'll be out on the boat. <laughs> Can I, Daddy? Haley, we don't even know him. Know him? Daddy, he only saved our lives, that's all. All right, go fishing. I mean, put something on. I've got something on. Over that. Put on your new shorts and your green top, okay? Go ahead, say it. I sound like an elder at the Prairie Baptist Church. <laughs> You're still wound up. Slow down, relax. We're going to be fine. 
The snake curled up and slithered all around. Shh, shh, mustn't make a sound. What is that? Ah, uh, it's just a song my mom used to sing to me when I was a little guy. <laughs> yeah, she was an angel, death's bright angel. What? The fish aren't biting. <laughs> it's all a game, you know? It's a game? Yeah. See, if the fish wins, then we get nothing. But if we win, the fish dies. Just a game. Wow. That's like <laughs> surreal. <laughs> yeah, that's me, all right. Stranger than real. Well, you were plenty real enough when you stopped those two geeks on the road. Well, someone had to do it. it. Seemed like you were all out of heroes at the time. Which seems weird because you're. Dad's pretty protective of you otherwise. Yeah, well, he tries to shelter me too much, I guess. With boyfriends and stuff, you know? Uh, watches your every move, huh? Yeah, actually, he's gone a lot. That's another reason why we're here this summer. Spend more time together. <laughs> yeah, family should spend more time together. Don't you think? Get that! Get it! Come on! Here! Now reel it in! Reel it in like this. <laughs> oh. oh. What happened? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> Lucas Marshall? That's me. Here you go. Who is it? Somebody sent me a plant. Who? Um, <laughs> thinking of you, the guys. Oh, must be the guys from the office. No, I told Dick Reardon not to tell anybody what happened. I guess he slipped up. Yeah. Zach, I'd, I'd rather you didn't go to the woods alone. Why not? It's, uh, isolated. Just, just wait for me to take you, okay? When? Another day or two. Mom, look what I got. I got crabs. I got seven of them. Oh. See? Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Where's our dinner? Uh, the fish won today, Mom, but we came close. Well, that's too bad. But I'm, I'm glad you could at least enjoy the boat, Simon. Uh, we want to thank you again, all of us, for what you did. And uh, maybe we can keep in touch. I was just noticing that old bike out by the shed. Oh, that thing's 100 years old. <laughs> it's a present from my aunt when I was Zach's age. It's broken. Well, maybe I can fix it for you. It's hardly worth it. Zach, I'll pick you up a new one. Oh, would it be terrific, though? I mean, for Zach to ride the very same bike his dad used to ride? I got a split, but maybe I can come back tomorrow and take a look at it for you. Could you? Sure thing. OK, Dad? If Simon doesn't mind. Ah, oh, anything for Zach. <laughs> Good. We'll look forward to it, then. All right. Uh. Uh, if you are coming back, do you happen to repair clothes dryers, too, by any chance? I thought the handyman was going to fix the dryer. Yeah, well, for some reason, Winnie can't get a hold of him. Dryers are my specialty. I'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Ah. <laughs> 
What are you doing? That's my bike. Wanna sell it? What are the pictures for? Uh... Pam, for the Kelsey Point Register? I'm shooting old landmarks. Well, the trouble is, I don't own this place. It belongs to my aunt. She's in Boston for the month, so... Can I go inside? Hold still. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Say cheese. Woo! All right, now oh. stay still! All right, be careful. Come on. I'm not going to watch you. I'll see you again sometime. How about tonight? <laughs> Lucas, look at this. Our wedding picture. What? <laughs> In your aunt's photo album. Good God. We were never that young. Oh, speak for yourself. I remember a very happy girl who'd starved herself silly in pursuit of a size six wedding dress. <laughs> All for the man of her dreams. Be careful what you dream. It may come true. Oh, I was careful. I was. I... Considered your weight, your friends, how you chew your food, your imagination, your soul. You know what? You're still a schoolgirl's dream come true. Let's have a picnic. What are you talking about? When? Today. No, just you and me. We can't. You're late. I'm feeling a little better. Besides, I can make it out to the end of the dock. We can sit out there and watch the non-existent fish swim by. Turkey and mozzarella on right. We got any champagne? Yes, but it isn't cold. Well, we'll keep it for something more conventional, like full moon. Mm. Go ahead. Game Boy. Just like the one that Zach brought along. Well, they've sold thousands. I've seen people fishing near here. It couldn't be the same one. It was stolen along with our car. It couldn't be. Right. Yeah, you're right. What are you 
you doing? <laughs> ah, let me demonstrate. Free of charge. <laughs> Anything else you need, Winnie, just let me know. You could uh, clear out. What? So I could do the laundry. favor, Mr. Marshall. I was just wondering if I could take the boat out again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Hmm. Well, I, I talked to Mrs. Marshall. She said that it should be okay. Thing is, Haley really enjoyed herself. She did, huh? Oh, yeah, man. She was this close to hooking one. She's dying to try again. Well, uh... uh it's up to you, of course, you know. Your decision. Tell you the truth, I don't think he trusts me. Oh, no, it's not you, it's me. He thinks I'm some innocent wallflower with raging hormones just waiting to be taken advantage of. You mean you're not? <laughs> Turkey? Ah, oh, you hate that retainer, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I notice how you cover your mouth with your hand sometimes. Hiding it. But you don't have to. You'd be beautiful no matter what. Maybe that's why your dad is the way he is. You know, gorgeous daughter, gorgeous wife. Maybe that's why he got so petrified in front of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> well, I don't know if he was scared so much. He hurt his leg and... Well, you can't let that stop you. you gotta put up some kind of fight. You know what I mean? And, and you didn't have a gun. That's my point. You have to be resourceful. Bluffing can go a long way. <laughs> hey. I've been looking all over for you, man. You caught two sea bass, nice ones. What do you got there? Oh, crabs. Oh, terrific. Can I check them out? Sure. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> do you think crabs have feelings? What, you mean, uh, what they would feel like if you pulled off one of their little claws? What do you mean feelings like people have towards other people? See, to me, all living things have feelings. Sometimes they can get ugly, vicious, you know? I bet you can't wait to show these to your dad, huh? He, he doesn't want me coming into the woods alone. <laughs> You're kidding. It's only like a hundred yards from the house. What's he afraid of? I don't know. He was just afraid, I guess. If he's wrong, you gotta stand up to him. I'd show him these crabs. Talk about him like you did with me. I'm sure if we get into him, we forget all about you coming to the woods alone. I, I don't know. You afraid to, Zach? No. Well? Didn't I tell you specifically not to go into the woods? Yes. And yet you deliberately disobeyed me. There's nobody there. There's nobody to be afraid of. That's not the point. It is. Hey, what's going on? He doesn't want to do anything. He just wants to sit around and yell at me. Well, that isn't fair, Zach. He's afraid. Afraid. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? He went into the woods without my permission. Didn't you tell him, Zach? I, I took him out there. I, I hope it's okay. We had a great time, right, Zach? Zach, I'm sorry. You should have told me that. I hope I didn't get him into any trouble. $20 bills. I insist on paying you now, Simon. I want to thank you again for all that you've done. I can't. 
can't take your money, sir. Not for doing what a man should. I... It's up to you. Earning money, that's... It's different. Take this old house here, no offense, but you need some work. <laughs> Gutters are a mess, that railing needs to be replaced, and the far end of the dock needs shoring up, you're gonna lose it. We have a handyman. Oh, uh, I thought he wasn't available. Uh, uh, his wife uh, told me that he's no longer interested in working for us. I forgot to tell you. Why? I don't know. Uh, she sounded as though you might cheat him or something. Where would they get that idea? <laughs> I don't know. Well, they must not know you very well. <laughs> hey, here's what I could offer. I can do all the odd jobs, you know, get this house in order, maybe sleep in the basement. I don't eat much, and I'll even take the 520s for two weeks in advance. Um, Simon, we, we know how you hate to be tied down anywhere. We don't think that you'd be very, uh... Happy? Oh. I've been happier here in one week than I've been since... Since? Since my mom died. I found her. I was Zach's age. Look, Mr. Marshall, you've been like a family to me, and, and that, that's something I've never had before. So I can be here for you as long as you say. Well, you're, you're a good kid, Simon, you know, but... Uh... This is a small house, and we have our children to think of. Well, I guess I was thinking of them, too. We've gotten real close, Haley and Zach and me, and, and don't take this wrong, but my being here could help out your relationship with them. Well, there's nothing... There's nothing seriously wrong with my relationship with my children. I know. I just meant that it's going to be hard for you. You got a hurt leg. You're dealing with all this police stuff. I can help. Let me fix up the house. You're going to have to do it anyway. And I can keep an eye on the kids until you're back on your feet. Explain to them how important their father is. Look, you once said you owed me. I just want to be part of a family a little bit longer. Unless that's too much to ask. Not too much to ask. Great. Then it's settled. Hey, thanks so much, both of you. <laughs> Take the basement room. Just a couple more weeks, okay? Okay. Uh, I promise. You guys are not going to be disappointed. I'll break camp to park and uh, be back tomorrow. I tell you, sometimes life just blooms for you, 80. It's so good to seek one goal your entire life, 100. And suddenly, it's right there in the palm of your hand. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be wonderful. Nice doing business with you. We'll be in Mexico. Don't show up. Haley, turn it down. It's too loud. It's supposed to be loud. Please? Haley, why don't you just turn it off?
Mm, not tonight, Zach. Think carefully. Ask the boy. You should play this more often. Dad doesn't play. Why don't you teach me, Zach? What the hell is that? You two stay right here with Sam. Where are you going? It's okay. I'll we'll call you. We'll go check it out. Call the police? No, he he oh, wanted geez. to. They could be down there right now. Oh, you know who? Raccoon. Dead one now. Uh, you can put that away. Uh, I don't think you'll be needing it. <laughs> wow. He just went right down to the cellar and got him with a knife. Daddy? What, what does you mean by they could be down there? Uh, nothing, Haley. I think it'd be a good idea if we all go to bed. Okay, go off to bed. Well, cut the radio budget by 80,000. Put it in print. It's that kind of product, Dick. Consider it done. So, how are you and your cane getting along? Like stepbrothers. <laughs> by the way, I thought I asked you not to tell anyone in the office what happened. I didn't. They sent me a plant. Nobody sent anything from around here. I have the card right in front of me. It's signed, The Guys. Well, Lucas, we are the guys. But I assure you, nobody sent anything from here. Maybe you got another fan club out there. Look, I gotta go. Keep in touch. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, information. Give me the number of the Kelsey Point florist, please. Now, see, that was closer. That was a lot closer. You're gonna be a pro at this in no time. Kelsey Point Flores. Uh, hi, this is Lucas Marshall. You delivered a plant to me the other day. Uh, yes, sir, I remember that. A bromeliad. Could you tell me who sent it? Matter of fact, no. It was just an order left in our mail slot. No name, just cash. Never had one like that before. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. I 
Winnie's late, so I was just helping out with the laundry. No, 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 no. This is okay. This is my fault. Again, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Caught me by surprise. Nice surprise, but I'll be more careful. Okay. Morning. Sorry I was late. The car wouldn't start. Just first time in years. Don't worry about it. Hey, you know, I thought he was sleeping here. The kid with the knife, the Brad Pitt wannabe. <laughs> what are your fad? <laughs> well, his bed's never slept in. Well, maybe he's camping out. Yeah, maybe. Oh, would you put some towels in the shower room? I did. Covered spare. That's not possible. I just filled it yesterday. Well, I had to go looking for towels in my birthday suit this morning. I'm not sure who got the bigger shock, me or Brad Pitt. You're kidding. Uh-uh, right not. He just happened to be standing there? <sighs> yeah, he was doing some laundry yeah. or something. I'm going yeah. to town. Simon can drive me. Oh? Yeah, I bugged Cooper long enough. He finally got his county treasurer to okay the bucks for a sketch artist. Simon can take him. <laughs> Seems like Simon's running the whole house. I'll go see about those towels. Uh, you can park up there. I'll be out of a while. Thinking of you. Oh, yeah, I need that for the police. What is it? Came with a plant from someone in Kelsey Point. Well, that was nice. I think it was them. Well, maybe not. It could be a friendly gesture. Maybe someone jealous. No one knows me around here. It has to be connected. Well, in any case, I wouldn't let your kids know about it. I mean, that might freak them out. Your wife, on the other hand, she could handle it. Yeah, she's quite a lady. You know, you're right. Listen, do me a favor. Well, I'm in there. I want you to pick up something nice for Kat. There's a perfume that she likes called Breezes. Right. You got it. You have a great day. Ah, Breezes. That's one of my favorites. Whoever she is, she's in luck. What else you got? Uh, uh, and that'll do. Nice work, Ed. Thank you. Todd, make a few copies of these for Mr. Marshall, will you? Well, you never know. They might help. Just bear in mind that these guys are probably out of state by now. What's that? It's from someone who left a cash order at the local florist shop. Sent me a plant. Thinking of you, the guys. I have no idea who it was. You're not suggesting that one of the suspects sent you? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm suggesting. I'm not so sure these two animals are gone at all. Lucas, I can show the drawings to a few people around town. A few? Hell, I think you should wallpaper the town with them. It isn't the way we do business around here, yeah, Lucas. Yeah, well, business as usual isn't getting us very far. You are so damn certain they're lurking around here someplace. Why don't you just clear out? Go on back where you came from. My briefcase was in the car. They know where we live. What a lame shot. Why don't you learn how to pitch? Dad, want to play with us? Uh, I'll deliver your package, Mr. Marshall. Uh, sorry, Haley. I, I have got to show your mother something. Well, anytime you want to play with us, let me know, okay? I'm closer by an inch. 
I'd like that. Um, I'll be right back. I promise. Okay. Cat, I've got the drawings. Lucas, I love it. Not bad for Kelsey Point. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. What in hell did you think you were doing? Uh, huh? I told you to get a perfume. Well, they didn't have the kind you wanted. So you buy her a see-through nightgown? She didn't like it? Yeah, of course she liked it. How old are you? Nineteen. You should know, then, that a sexy negligee is not something that a man buys for another man's wife. Yes, sir. I thought I was helping you out. Lucas. Yes. Close the door. How's it fit? Too short. Not short enough. May I say, you have excellent taste, sir. Cat, the kids. I asked Simon to take them to South Beach. <laughs> am I crazy? Or am I getting mixed signals? I mean, what is it, Lucas? Nothing, I just... What? You just what? Come on, we gotta talk this out. Talk about what? There are things I can't explain Kat, about this house. Things that happened here. It's all in your head, Lucas. <laughs> you know, you and Simon, you mean well. But every time you open your mouth, I feel like half the man I was a second before. Well, what, what do you want from me? I mean, what am I supposed to think? You can't just buy me a negligee. I, I didn't. Simon did. Cat, oh, listen. Cat. Cat, listen to me, please. I asked him to buy you a bottle of perfume. It does matter. It does matter. This has nothing to do with Simon. Cat, if I had known. This isn't that... like you, Lucas. I want you to get help. What? I refuse to let this take over our family. Nothing's going to change until you get counseling. No. Do you know that Zach's taken to bed wedding again? And when was the last time that Haley said two words to you? She, she spends all her time with Simon now. Their problem is not what happened to them on the road. Their problem is you. I want my husband back. I want the man who coached girls volleyball, who planned picnics for two. Call Dr. Klein. He'll know. I do not him. need a psychiatrist. What I do need is to pound it into your brain that a revolting, dangerous act happened to us, and it isn't over. You've never said it. You've never let yourself say it. That all I did was watch while my wife and children were about to be murdered. I'll tell you when this is going to be over. When those two bastards are locked up. And if the police can't do it, then it's up to me. Party? Yeah. Very limited guest list. Mind if I join you? I wouldn't advise it. The champagne's low. And so is the company. Well, we all bottom out once in a while. Sometimes I feel like that dude in Candy. You know, the guy that goes around searching for the meaning of life. You've read Voltaire. Does that surprise you? 
But no, no, I, I didn't. All is for the best in the best of all possible worlds. That's what Voltaire wrote. You believe that? Not lately. Hmm. Forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn, but, uh... What? Well, your husband, uh, it's none of my business. But he just seems like he's getting paranoid. I told him how it might be affecting you. That's why I suggested he get you a gift. You? I shouldn't have told you that. It's just that he should feel lucky to have someone like you. If I thought there was someone like you in my future, I wouldn't have been a drifter all my life. Job after job, shipyards, fry cook, masseur. Masseur? Yeah. If I could, uh, can I show you something? <laughs> yeah, check this out. <clears throat> See this right here? That is the trapezius. Uh -huh. That's a little troublemaker mm -hmm. that gets all tightened up. So we'll add a little pressure. Mm. Here, relax your head. A drifter? Mm. Not a nine, I hope. Who took care of you after your mother died? An uncle. Where is he now? No. He sort of inherited me along with the rest of my mom's things. He kicked me out when I was 12. Oh, my God. That's terrible. For someone you love. No, I didn't love him. I remember crying so hard the night that he threw me out. I finally figured out why. He was all I had. Simon. I haven't known about love since my mother died. Until I came here. You know what love is, kid. You're beautiful. Perfect. The snake curled up and slithered all around. Shh. Hey, Simon. Shh. Mustn't make a sound. Hey, Simon, I got Pete Allison on the phone from the copy shop. Could you go into town and, and get a couple of faxes from Lucas's office? I told him they were gone for the day. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your name? <coughs> Simon. What's your last name? Can't remember. Well, think about it. What is this, an inquisition? Pete's a stickler for rules. Bauer, okay? Hey, Pete, it's Bauer. Simon Bauer?
Hello? I'd like to speak with Lucas. Oh, and how are you, Winnie? I'm sorry, but they got back about an hour ago and went straight to bed. Well, could you just see if he's still up? Oh, he was dog tired. I think it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Look, Simon. I'm sorry. Sweet dreams, though. Thought I heard the phone. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm... I'm sort of worried. There was no one on the line. Has that happened to you? Yeah. You tell anyone? No. Yeah, that fear thing again, huh? What the hell you mean by that? Just that it's understandable. Look, I found my mother dead. So I can tell you a lot about fear. And I didn't have a father there to make it better. I think I'm going to sleep outside tonight. Keep an eye on the property. not like her. She'd let us know if she weren't coming in. Well, she's been late before. Well, it's not all that far away. Why don't I go over and check things out? I'll go with you. No. Let me. You promised your son you'd watch him swim. I want you to tell Lucas that you're going to move on now. That you're leaving. <laughs> Is this about what happened to us in the cabana? Partly. Trust me, I would never tell your husband, okay? Besides, in his present condition, I don't think he'd be able to handle hearing about us. There is no us, Simon. I want you to leave. No. What? I said no. I can't do that. Not unless Lucas asks me to.
Still checking the house for fingerprints, but everything points to a robbery. No, no way. We walked Winnie's cousin through the house. She's definitely missing her television, her stereo, some silver plates, and a gold bracelet. It's a nothing house on a country road, just the place that I would stake out for a big heist. Lucas, I know how you feel about Winnie, how we all feel about her. A small town, no crime to speak of, and now you got a family attacked, their housekeeper murdered. Wait, 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 we don't know this is a homicide. There's no body. Oh, come on. We don't even know whose blood it is until we get it tested. Test? When's that going to be, your next fiscal year? Can't deal in conjecture, Lucas, only in facts. Oh, don't jerk me around, Cooper. What happens when you get a phone call one morning that the Marshall House appears to have been robbed and the family killed? I'll tell you what I think, Lucas. I think you're paranoid, and I think you better get some help. Don't you just walk away from me. Don't you dare walk away from me. I'll go to the state police. I will. You got to answer to somebody. Arrogant, incompetent, jerk. I can take your badges. I can make you do your job! Make you do your job! Haley, Zach, I want you to go outside for a while. Why? Just do as I say. I've asked Simon to leave. I feel our family's grown apart since he's been here. <laughs> It seems like nothing has happened as planned this summer. Miss Marshall, there's no reason to get into something you might be sorry for. There's something else. Something happened between Simon and me. I'm not offering any excuses, except that I was stupid and drunk. What are you talking about? We were in the cabana, and some comforting words went beyond what they should have. But thank God, not too far. I've asked him to leave. He refused, not unless you tell him to go. It was nothing, nothing. Nothing. Pack and go. Oh, so much for my side of the story. My wife explained all that I need to know. She wants you out. I wanted you out a long time ago. Things didn't go that far in the cabana, huh, Cat? Well, why don't you ask her to explain how I know about that tasty strawberry of a birthmark just north of home base? to do this. He said he left something for you. It's an envelope on the fireplace. Get these pictures of you and this girl. Who is she? 
Someone I met here. We had an affair. I was ready to leave. She wanted to go. I couldn't take her. I was starting college. My life. You can't just go. Pam, please. It's over. I'm pregnant. Future crashing. I, I didn't know what else to do. I gave her some money. And I uh, just left her here. I got a letter at college from Winnie. She told me that Pam, her name was. Pamela left town. And? What do you mean, and? For God's sake, Lucas, did she have a child? Where are you going? Why not Simon? Simon is 19. If he has these old pictures, could he be? He could be anyone, Kat. Those pictures could have come from the files of the local paper. Well, whoever he is, he's dangerous. I don't care. Let me drive you. No. It's between me and him. leave you here. No, it's, it's okay. I'll go to the road. I'll get help. Your house, Lucas. That's where he went. He went to your house. Get back to your family. Go! Go! Cat? Hello? Cat? Hey, Zach? Cat? Cat! What have you done with them? Did you like those pictures? Were they fond memories? No. Did you love her? I never made any promises. Did you love her? Don't! Don't! Don't. How did you find me? Letters from Winnie. I found them in a box at my uncle's house along with the photos. Letters telling my mother to stay away from you? Well, God knows she did. Those letters were good for one thing. They led me straight to you. Have it your way, son. Blame me for all of it, but use your head here. Use my head? What do you think I've been doing for the last 10 years? Do you know what I've been through? No. I was nine. I found my mother in the bathtub. 
I thought she was sleeping. Until I saw the water. The water. It was red. Red. She cut her wrist. She killed herself. And the only person left to take care of me was Uncle Carl. And you know what he did in tribute to his sister's death? He molested me, Dad. Use my head? You know how I found you? Your handyman. <laughs> he told me exactly what day you were expected to be here. So I waited for you out on the road. Now it's your turn, Dad. Now your family's gonna see what it's like to hurt. Where are they? Come on. He's got Daddy. Cat, are you all right? We're okay. Here. Take this key. Open the lock. Leave the key in the lock. Come on, get in there! Come on, Zach. Lucas! Zach! Zach! Uh, it's okay. You are a lucky kid, Zach. If I had a picture book life, no thought of a father who would bigger than you. I'm not sure who Simon is. Oh, his eyes, his walk, he's like Zach. Could be some kind of scam, cat, for money. He's sick. Just, just wait right there, okay? Daddy, I'm scared. Listen to me. I won't let him hurt you. I swear to you, I won't let him hurt any of you. Oh, the snake curled up and slithered all around. Shh. What are you going to do with that gun? Hey, look who showed up 19 years late. I did not abandon you. I guess I slept through my first nine years then because you weren't there. You knew you brought a kid into this world, and you took a hike. I knew. At college, I got, I got a letter from Winnie. She told me your mother, that Pam had moved away from Kelsey Point and had the baby. Oh, that must have really torn you up for an hour or so. More like a year, Simon. That's when I went to find her. I found Pam and her child in Richmond. And I moved them back with me, back to my school. No way, man! All I ever heard growing up was how you got her pregnant and split, never to be seen again. You deserted us! That's not how it happened. We were together maybe four or five months. I tried, Simon. We were different people. <laughs> that is a bunch of crap! You will say anything to save your ass! Get in the water, Zach. Get in the water, Zach! Get in! Don't do this, Simon. You're about to get a lesson in life. What it's like to live in someone else's skin, like mine. See someone you love in the water, in a sea of red! Lucas! Simon! Don't hurt him. I'll do it. That 
That's enough, Simon! Oh, the owl flew down and settled on the ground. Shut up, that's my song. Are you sure? Yes, mine and my mother's. I taught you that song, Simon. Oh, the owl flew down. Settled on the ground. Ooh, ooh. Oh, the owl flew down and settled me. Oh, the owl flew down. Oh, the owl flew down and settled on the ground. Oh, the owl flew down and settled on the ground. Mustn't make a sound. I made up the song, Simon. I didn't know any other lullabies. How else could I know the words? I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Dad! Hang on, Zach. No. You're not a killer. You didn't kill Winnie. My mother has never lied to me! Do you remember the apartment? Do you remember the fish? The mobile? The, the different colored fish that used to float above your head. You never saw them again, did you? She took everything but the fish, Simon. She took the furniture. She took the baby. She left me, Simon. I never saw you again. There was no one! I had no one! Can't change that. But I'm here now. I'm here. Story to tell you. 